back, this is Dave Vellante, I'm with Wikibon.org, and this is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE's production of HP Discover here in Barcelona. This is day two, we're live. We're going to go wall to wall all day, John Furrier and I. And our team here, Kevin Garrison is here. He is focused on the channel for HP's Converged Infrastructure Group. Kevin, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, glad to be here. So, um, relatively new to HP. <laughs> uh, yeah. with, uh, we were just talking off camera. We, We've kind of known each other for a long time and kind of reconnecting after a while, but why don't you tell us about your role at, at HP and then we'll get into the discussion around what you guys have done with, uh, with Sharks and your new products. Okay, great. So I own both of uh, essentially what we call the convert systems route to market or go to market. And so what that means is what are the channels, both direct and indirect, and you know, who are the sellers, who are the buyers, and what do we need to do to get there successfully? In addition, within HP, I also own responsibility for building out the RV, the regional business unit structure as well. So those extended organizations from our VU roll into me to provide that interlock and cadence between corporate and the field. So you were brought in, if I understand it correctly, to really emphasize and, and sharpen the channel focus. Is that is that fair? Oh, definitely. Okay, definitely. so so talk about sort of the 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 the, the state of the channel um, pre and post. Kevin Garrison and then the state of the channel pre and post the new product announcements and what your main objectives are with the channel. What are you talking to the channel about? What, what, are, the, what are the key messages and what are they feeding back to you? Right, right. So, you know, as we were talking about before, sharks or what we now call convert systems for virtualization and then other extended components of that family are just announced this week. So the state of the channel before was, what is it, right? The state of the channel now is, to be honest with you, the best quote I've had is, it's about time, right? HP has the best blades, e you know, equal to or better storage infrastructure than anybody in the industry. Why haven't you guys done this? So for them, it's an element of excitement. So now the element in where I've been brought in is, you know, how do we create a profitability model and a cadence and value proposition for the partners such that they want to engage and sell, right? And so I think we've been able to do that, actually make a very, very compelling value problem. So it's worth reviewing. Talk about what Sharks is specifically. Okay, so Sharks is essentially is taking existing componentry, best of breed HP server and blade technology, uh, three par and other storage technology and the connectivity pro pro products provided by HP networking and delivering those as an integrated solution and package. And there's kind of three axes that create strong differentiation for them. One is the systems themselves are workload optimized, right? And that means for a given workload of VMs, for example, or for, say, exchange mailboxes, what is this required infrastructure required and how can we optimize that to deliver maximum performance capabilities for the, the cost associated with that? So the other axis are real around integrated management, one view being a key component of that. And you'll see some really interesting things coming out over the next six months in particular about how that really comes together as a, just a tremendous solution. And then lastly and probably, and you know, most importantly, is the fact that we have provided an extremely unique integrated customer support experience. So to the extent customers are used to buying multiple different products, whether from HP or HP and others, is there was all the, always this issue that I'm going to have to call one person and hope that they're the person who are going to help me solve my problem. Even within HP, right? Because I don't know if it's a storage problem, server problem, or network problem, so I can bounce around. With the Sharks platform, or Convert Systems for Virtualization, it's one person, one phone call, and they own that problem end to end. And that is only available with Convert Systems platforms. And that has huge value to the customer and even to the partner. So, Okay, just to, just to clarify, so we got HP Blades, uh, it's, it's three-par storage, uh, and, it's, and it's HP networking, it's one view, and the hypervisor is? Uh, actually, Microsoft Hyper-V or VMware, so or none. Hyper-V, VMware, or do it Pick yourself? Pick your own and drop it on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so somebody wants to drop in Citrix or mm -hmm. some open source hypervisor yep. or whatever. Or an Oracle database, for that matter. OVM, mm -hmm. whatever you want to do. Yeah. Okay, and then, 
So that's, that's the package. It's, it's the, the server, the storage, the networking, one view comes, comes packaged, or right? Um, actually, in the first iteration, we're actually going with Insight Control because Insight Control has management capability for all three today. Yep. Today, OneView really stands out in its server and rack mount and virtual uh, connect integration capabilities, right? And the orchestration at a physical server level that comes along with that. In the not too distant future, and we've already been talking about this as a company, is you'll see storage integrated into that, networking integrated into that. So from a single management view, you have the ability to not only manage the entire environment, but also easily simplify the configs. And there's some great, you know, OneView in particular has some great uh, customer references as the power of that, uh, that that has on them. And we're bringing that into Convert Systems as well. Okay. Actually, the OneView development organization is part of Convert Systems. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. And then hypervisor choice, VMware, Hyper-V or none. And then the, the channel will add whatever apps, whatever database, a mm -hmm. backup, right? Mm -hmm. You're not configuring with a backup. Correct. Right, that's, that's right, okay. Got it. So now we sort of established what, what Sharks is, and it's and it, now talk about the the simplification process. How have you simplified the 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 the, the ordering process? Let's keep it as simple as that for the channel. Okay. So if you look at historically with HP and let's just talk HP products. If as a partner, and by the way, I I just joined HP as I was previously vice president of sales for Lillian, an HP platinum partner in the Western United States. And what you find if you're trying to do the design and, and architecture work associated with a new infrastructure, virtual infrastructure deployment, it takes quite a bit of time, right? I have to engage a network guy, I have to engage a server guy, I have to engage a storage guy in multiple calls, sizing calls or planning calls is what I would call them. So with Sharks, essentially all of that pre-integration work has been done for you. And if you think about it from a partner perspective, that's not billable hours they're losing. Those are expense dollars that they're saving because those guys can be redeployed to other uses. So all of that is done. The system arrives, right? And essentially what we commit is it takes 20 minutes to order. So it's literally five clicks within the HP ordering system for a partner. So 20 minutes to configure and quote, which is unbelievable from an HP perspective. And then from the date of receipt of order to delivery and operation, meaning plug it in, connect the network, and go, 20 days, right? And so again, think about what that means from a partner perspective, because normally I've made the sale, and now I have to wait until everything shows up. I also have to assume or hope that I did it correctly, because in that example where I'm doing those three you know, heavy lifting components and trying to figure it all out, it's standard quote at HP would be something like 26 pages long and over 300 line items, right? and trying to diagnose, you know, do I have exactly the right things are very, very difficult. So what we've done is essentially break this into a single SKU when it manifests itself in terms of a quote. So we went from 26 pages to one, um, and all of the cabling and the configuration attributes are done for you. So in theory, errors go to zero, and implementation time should therefore be significantly accelerated from a partner perspective. So we yeah, think that's a great story. It is about time. I can see why the channel yeah. was saying that. Now, okay, so come back, so you, came right out of the channel. You were, <laughs> you were adopting, uh, reselling converged systems from HP, mm -hmm. and you said this, the new process is essentially 20 days mm -hmm. before from, from I want to buy something to it's up and running. Correct. What was the old process, I mean, roughly from your, your experience? From my experience, anywhere from 45 to 60 days. Okay. So we think we're saving at least you know, half the time, if not 3x the time, uh, just to get it on site. And the fact that if you look at the delivery time frame, or assume that you did the right orders and configurations, and maybe my, you know, my previous role, we were making more mistakes than, av than average. I don't think so. Um, but those kind of small little gotchas, right? Oh, I got the wrong disk drives, or I got the wrong network cable, or it was copper versus optical. Who knows? Those problems added significantly more time. And where it hurts you is not just the time, but it's I have to send another guy out to do the, you know, something associated with the installation. Or I had to get one of my most senior and most expensive guys involved to try and debug what those problems were. So now it's all been done for them, right? Yeah, so you, ha you, so you, you have the elapsed time being cut down by a, a, a half to as much as a third mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. previous. And then you're freeing up hours, which are, like you said, they're not billable today mm -hmm. or previously they're, they were, they were pre-sales freebies yeah, right. that were taken away from billable hours, presumably, right? Yep, that weren't exactly. really adding value other than to get the sale. Correct. Right, which the customer, okay, I want to buy. Right. <laughs> right. 
Right. So everything you have to do to get me to where I can buy right. is irrelevant to me. Mm -hmm. I want other value add. So how do you see this channel sort of leveraging that time? So put yourself back into you know, your platinum partner of HP. How are you going to use as a channel partner that time that's just got freed up? How are you going to apply it? How am I going to apply that? So, you know, I put mine as an executive in a previous channel partner. For me, one of our biggest challenges was just managing the bench of technical resources between pre-sales and post-sales activity and making sure I had the right person in the right time. So from an efficiency perspective, it's tremendous. The other thing is, is there's, you know, if you look at Shark specifically, there's two ways you can buy converged systems in the infrastructure. There's either fixed configurations, that's the 300 and the 700, or for the extent that the customer says, look, I want it my way, right, and designed exactly to my specifications, we have another option called the 700X that provides that facility. So you can either fix configurations for known workload or exact flexible configurations to yours, but both wrap in the total integrated uh, customer support and system management experience that we provide. So tremendous value there. So from a partner perspective, what you know we're talking to partners about is you need to be talking about what all cut characterizes is all three methods of acquiring and deploying infrastructure from into a customer's data center. One is with sharks with fixed configurations that are defined for known workload. Second is flexible, do it their way with the same wrapper. And the third is do it the way you've always done it. You know, integration of best of breed components, right? HP blades, HP three bar storage, whatever it happens to be. But customers have a choice and what are they looking to do from an investment perspective with their dollars? Do they want to do planning design and architecture as an end user or do they want to do, you know, add value to the business? So we're trying to work with the partners to help them understand it's a change in the sales methodology. It's not about speeds and feeds and products. It's about what's the operational value that I deliver by virtue of having an integrated platform. What is the business value that you can create by redirecting and redeploying your resources to things that have real value to you and your business, right? Rather than do I have the right things racked, stacked, and integrated and spending all the time later tuning those crazy things, right? So, let's see, it must have been about two and a half years ago. We, you know, we, we'll keep on, we, we don't, we, we sometimes do market forecasts, but we only do them when they're not available from mm -hmm. like an IDC or, or Gartner. And we think there's a, an opportunity to help the market understand and shape, and then those guys, you know, because they have a lot more territory to cover, mm -hmm. and they have to argue about who owns it and all that stuff, so mm -hmm. we can just go do it. So two years ago, uh, more than that, two and a half years ago, myself, David Floyer, Stuart Miniman, we did a forecast of this. It was very basic, but we basically looked at the total available market, which we pegged at about 400 to 500 billion, I mean, it was a, a big, big market. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we said, all right, what percent of that is going to be converged infrastructure, and what percent of that is going to be you know, single skew versus sort of, quote unquote, reference architecture. And we, we came up with, it, it, within the next five years, probably 75, 80% of this market is going to be converged. It mm -hmm. just made so much sense. And, and, and it was predominated by reference architecture, but, but single skew was going to be growing faster, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so, correct. And, and I think, that market is really, or that forecast has really played itself out. When you see the Gartner forecast and the mm -hmm. IDC forecast, they, they, they pretty much confirm that. And they, they definitely, in, in deference to them, they get more detail than we did at the time. I was kind of a, it was kind of a back of the napkin. Um, but so, the competitive landscape is essentially, you, you know, you got you guys, you got VCE, and you got NetApp, mm -hmm. really are the big, the big players here. Mm -hmm. So from a channel perspective, What's the HP difference? Well, one, I would argue that we actually have a channel program and a <laughs> partnership and a relationship. BCE, that's, that's not their legacy, right? So I think from that perspective, it's huge because there's an incremental opportunity to partners that really they have not been able to address leveraging the BCE platform. In yeah, I, 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 I think I neglected EMC with VSpecs, right? I mean, I, well, we fair got, enough. We got to include those guys as well. Yeah. So I agree, I, I don't see VCE as a big channel play. I mean, they've got, they've got products mm -hmm. that sort of appeal to the lower end of the market, but, but from a standpoint of, you know, that, I, I, don't, I don't connect to that. I see yeah, FlexPod yeah. And, and EMC as more affinity, and obviously HP, so, okay, so that's one. Yeah. So what else? So one is, is that. The other one is, if you look at the, the portfolio products themselves, one, we've developed an entry point product that actually when Tom brought me to HP, he told me it was here, and it's actually here. So in terms of the addressable market and the mid-market in particular, uh, we think we actually stand alone. As a matter of fact, the product that we will sell and offer through our partners delivers two and a half times the performance of the equivalent BCE platform at you know, 25 less 
cost, right? So two and a half times performance, less cost. Okay, tell me why we can't do this and when you have best of breed storage and, and server technology built in it as an integrated platform. So that's another one that's just absolutely huge from a partner perspective. And then I think the other one is getting back to my earlier comment around the integrated support experience. Because if you're talking VCE or EMC vSpec or you're talking about uh, NetApp with FlexPod with Cisco or Cisco with anybody, HDS is now in, you know, playing with them in that particular game, is at the end of the day, you're going to make one phone call, but what's to say that Cisco or NetApp or EMC have to answer to the particular problem? So what happens is you have back-end networks, something called TSA net, where they're, quote, communicating, trying to hide all the complexity from the partner, but there's still bouncing going on, and the customer takes time, and sometimes you don't get dispute resolution done correctly. So with HP, what we've done is, one, there's only one phone call. And as a matter of fact, it's not just one phone call, it's one person who owns end-to-end -end problem resolution associated with that. So I think as a value proposition to the customer and ultimately to the partner, because it's, it's all about simplicity. How easy is this thing to configure? How easy is it to order? How quickly can I get it shipped and delivered? And how easy is it to implement and ultimately support? I think we've got an unbeatable store. Right, and, and so the other question I have is I, I often ask from a, when, when I talk to guys doing direct sales, how are customers organizing you know, to take advantage of converged infrastructure, because you typically got silos of storage, server, and networking, and there's sort of different groups, and now they got to come together, and that's always a you know, complex organizational challenge. Similar question for the, the channel. What's the channel makeup look like? Because you've got to have, for example, you got to have a, a bunch of HP resellers that are also selling, let's say, hypothetically, a NetApp you know, yeah. reseller, right? Um, is that changing? Are, are people, con are, are, are channel partners converging? Or is it sort of, are you battling for every inch of that channel mind share? No, I think, you know, every day we have to earn the business, right, with our partners. And at different times, you know, we'll have the best in the market, other times maybe not. There's a leapfrogging effect. And so, you know, we have to remember every day we're talking with them that there's a reason that they want to talk to us and we need to make sure we articulate that. I think Sharks in particular helps us do that because you know, think about the partner who is you know, Blade or server-centric with HP but doesn't necessarily own the storage footprint in an account. Maybe it's EMC, maybe it's NetApp, Hitachi, who knows. We're creating a vehicle for them to essentially start to compete for that business but to do it indirectly, right? I don't have to go head-to-head -head against Symmetrix or VNX or whatever. I can basically sell the value proposition of a converged system solution, which is very distinct and unique, um, and something that, quite frankly, I don't think they can compete with, at least not versus what we've done. So that's a huge, you know, I look at the modeling benefit to a partner, one, if they start to win that, and they're server only today with their customers, I double the services ben revenue benefit and margin opportunity to them off the back end, that right. alone. Um, I cut their sales cycles down by, we estimate, by at least a third. Implementation cycles by at least a third by virtue of what we've done. So the value proposition and the, in the incentive for them, and they've responded back saying, this, you're right, is, is great. So Kevin, last question. So when you were in the channel, mm -hmm. in the context of converged infrastructure, what was your you know, biggest issue, what your biggest concern, your, your top priority, and how are you now on the other side, you know, the, the selling side, HP, how are you addressing those concerns? Yeah, so one, it's, you know, to the extent, reliability of the solution, right? As an integrated solution, is this thing going to work? And the answer is absolutely, and very, very confident about that. The other things for us is, you know, simplicity of configuration and ordering. With HP in particular, it's historically been difficult. And we've made, you know, huge changes in the way HP uh, does business in this way. I mean, it's revolutionizing the company in many, many respects. Uh, that's a big one. Things like how, you know, exception pricing, to the extent we have to go beyond normal discounts. How fast can that process work? And so we're taking it with Convert Systems and now HP overall, from on average five days to less than one day, right? And now we're becoming extremely competitive with other players in the industry. So those were big things that were, you know, to some extent obstacles to us getting business done efficiently and effectively. And the other thing is um, finding the next deal. The next customer was you know, tremendously important for us. And so one of the HP th things HP is doing and Convert System is part of is really increasing the amount of demand gen and sharing of benefits to partners. And for Convert Systems in particular, we've developed a program called Channel First, 
and the emphasis of Channel First is that this product is designed for the channel, right? Uh, to the extent that I wish I could, we would make this an exclusive, but we have a contractual relationship and some global accounts that have a direct purchasing relationship. But for everything else, it's channel first. And we're going to do everything we can and have agreement from the top of HP region man sales management to try and ask the questions like, why, there's a direct deal, why are we doing it that way? Why can't we use a partner in this business? And this whole program that is being launched in combination with uh, Convert System Channel First is the means by which we're going to drive that behavior across HP. And that, for me, in my previous job, is huge. Awesome, Kevin Garrison, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. They, they brought the perfect guy in for this job, in my opinion, right? Thank and, you. So congratulations on uh, the new role, and uh, good luck going forward in this absolutely huge market. Uh, HP's growth in this market is uh, high double digits, so, uh, it's a really exciting place to be. Thanks for coming on. All right, All right. All right keep it right there, everybody. John Furrier and I will be back with our next guest. We're live. This is theCUBE from HP Discover in Barcelona. We'll be right back.